Chelsea, what's going on? Well, Jerry, I'm six months pregnant yeah. with a girl, and my boyfriend and I, we've been together on and off for a while now. Yeah. I need to tell him that this baby that he's so excited about isn't his. Oh. Uh, well, if you love your boyfriend so much, how did this happen? Well, we were, we've had our ups and downs, you know, throughout yeah, well, our Well, that's how you became pregnant. Yeah. But, uh, well, I, it all started in high school. You yeah. know, it was one of those things where he didn't know who I was, but I knew who he was. Yeah. Like, I watched him everywhere. He was just awesome. And once we finally got to know each other, started talking and hanging out, we realized we had a lot in common. And we just had a lot of fun together. Yeah. But it got to the point where we didn't want to be separated from each other at all. And we constantly had to be around each other. Yeah. So two years goes by, and I, my family tricked me into um, going to boarding school. Like I didn't oh, know they anything Oh, they didn't it. like the idea that you were with this guy? Right. Oh, my, so they my, sent you away to boarding yeah. school? My family hates him. How did they trick you, saying, hey, we're going to McDonald's, and boom! <laughs> it was just like that. They said, they told me we were going to see one of my other family members in Chicago, oh. and took me away. So, but it was one of those things where I didn't know, he didn't know. It was just like I was pulled out of everything. Yeah. So two years, I was there for two years. Yes. And the day I got out, I went to his house. I was on his doorstep because that was all I'd been thinking about, you know. I wrote him letters there. My family didn't give him a single letter. So I'm in there oh. thinking, like, you know, what's he doing? So what's, what, does he still want to be with me? So I went to his house. And I gained 45 pounds. I thought I was just a big fat slob. It was disgusting. And he opened the door. The and food just, was good at the boarding school? Uh, it was processed is what it was. Oh, processed. That's what happened. Processed food. Yeah. <laughs> but so I went to his house, and it was, it was like I'd never left. Like, he just thought it was the most beautiful thing in the world. And, you know, it was like we didn't talk on the phone that yeah. night is what it felt like. Yeah. And we immediately just, like, got back with, you know, within the groove of things. You well, know? great. So now you're back with him, and that's all well, good. Well, we had, like, a few oh. times where we were separated in between there. And you when know? you were? Well, I, ha I slept with his friend Trevor. You slept friend. with his friend? Well, how did that happen? Well, Tim and I were separated at the time, you know. <laughs> I was lonely. Yeah. I yeah. had a few drinks, and we had yeah. sex. That's it. And so now he doesn't know. He has no idea. So you're here on the show to tell your boyfriend you've been through all of this. Families wanted you separated, but you, over the years, you stay together. You love him. You want to be with him. And now you come on the show to tell him, I know you're happy about this pregnancy, but you're not the dad. Yeah. All right. I tell you what, why don't we bring up, this is your boyfriend now. You're about to tell him. He's been outside the studio, so he hasn't heard any of this. Here is your boyfriend, Tim. <laughs> Tim, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, and uh, you, she's kind of told the story about how long you, you were boyfriend, girlfriend, and then the families. Does your family not like that you're with her either? No, they don't. Okay, so both your families aren't too crazy about this. Why particularly don't they like you two together? Like, they blame me for everything that he does. My family blames him for everything I do. I see. But it's but you two, you two love each other. Right. Oh, yeah. And you... You've stayed together. She comes out of school and comes right back to you. Yep. And how's it going now? Doing good. It's been good. rocky, but, you know, I love her. We're about to have a family. What do you want to say to him? Well, Tim, that's the thing. Um, this baby isn't yours. <laughs> it's Trevor's. What do you mean this baby isn't mine? Tim, I couldn't... I didn't know how to tell you this. I didn't want to hurt you. You were so excited when we found out that I was pregnant. I mean, you picked out the name. You know what I mean? Like... And you think by telling me now it's making it better? Tim, I don't want to hurt you. I can't do this. I can't have our families trying to tear us apart. Well, what's your suggestion? I, well, I don't know what your... I mean, you told him, but what do you want? I do want to be with Tim. I love Tim. 
But Trevor is the father of my baby, and he's going to be in the baby's life. We're going to meet Trevor in a moment. I just don't understand how you could wait this long to tell me this. I can't sit here and be unstable, not knowing what we're going to do in the future. We don't have a house together. I can't rely on paycheck to paycheck, Tim. I have to have something for my baby to be with, okay? I need, like, furniture. The baby needs food, like diapers, all that stuff, Tim. Do you think Trevor can do that for you? Tim, I want my baby to have a father. And that's who Trevor is. He's the baby's father. Let's meet him. Bitch, dude. dude, I didn't wasn't supposed to happen like this. It man. did happen like this, though. I know. All I can do is step up, man. I'm gonna do it. While you were sleeping with her, even knowing this was your friend and, and she, you know, she loved him, you have a girlfriend, though, don't you? Uh, how long you been with her? About a year. About a year. <laughs> well, let's find out if this year is about over. Here's Misty. Yes, baby. Yes, it is. Give him a slap! Give him a slap! Give him a slap! Give him a slap! My child needs a father. Right. I'll tell you okay. something. My child needs you. a father. Okay? My kids needed one too, you home wrecking hoe. This is. Yeah. This is your man's baby. And what Where were you? To you? Where were you when I he was here? This. You were right there. Let me ask you something. How Let's many have good drinks balance. did he have to have to get you? Oh, really, really, really. Why am I the one that's knocked up right now? And because you're a whore. He's not the father of your kids, so is he? So what's going to happen now? You want to be with I Tim? I do want to be with Tim. I love Tim. With uh, Tim, I love you. With all my heart, I love you so much, and you know that. Good job showing that. You, <laughs> you know I love you, Tim. Look at me, not over there. Look at me. You hurt me, not them, me. Baby, you can either accept it or not. Got another one for you. We got more baby problems, huh? Another hundred bucks. <laughs> now, I want you four. Is there four of them? Four or more, well, more or less. Listen up now. This is a for all you. This is going to make everything plain as day. This is in that day there will be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar of the Lord at its border. It will be for a sign. Now, I think. This guy here, that's your best friend's baby. There's no better sign in the world than that. Maybe you better hit the road as fast as you can. Because it ain't going to get any better than it already is, and it's not real good right now.
And that goes for you too, little lady. Maybe you two can see what your, each other are doing after a show and, you know, maybe someday she'll be six months pregnant with your kid. <laughs> and you two, you got to have a whole new thing in here for you two because you got, there's way too much going on here for this. Is you, and should I not pity Nevia, the great city, in which there are more than 120,000 persons who cannot discern between right hand and their left? <laughs> if you can't discern which girlfriend is yours and which one's your best friend's, then you don't know your right from your left or your right from your wrong. You two are made for each other. And if you want to get married so the baby don't come out a bastard, we can do that now. I don't want to be with you. I don't want I to be with him. But that way I make $100. So if you like him enough to sleep with him, yeah, I like him enough she, to marry she, him. She doesn't want to be with him. Is what I liked said. him enough to drink and then sleep with him. What are you doing after the show? <laughs> I think you need some counseling. You come back with me and I gotta talk to you a little bit. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.